Hi guys, uh, in the last video we uh, produced our first database and we, in that database we created our first table and uh, in that table we inserted data. Now we are gonna uh, query that table for specific data. And as a reminder, I've listed here in a text file, I've listed the uh, name of the table that we created and the fields that we built or created in that table. And in this video, I'm going to stick to Postgres, but whatever I do here in Postgres applies to uh, MySQL and Access as well. And uh, 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 those people working with SQL Server, that works. What we do here works there as well. Okay, now I am Postgres here. I'm just going to start my database and go into my databases and I'm going to go into F1DB and then I'm going to start my SQL. Right, now let's start. I want to see my table. I start off with select. Now, what do I want to see? Well, I don't, I'm not very interested in driver ID. I just want to see first name, uh, comma. Now comes the second field, surname, comma. And now comes the third field I wish to see, victories, Vic, uh, victories. So just that, just these three fields. Now I have to specify for, from where do these fields come? Well, they come from the table drivers. And run the code. And there are my drivers. Right. So basically I can add as many fields as I want, always separate them with comma, and then you have to insert table name. Uh, you have to uh, 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 pay attention that, that we are now in, just let me reduce the window, we are now in our database F1DB, so I do not have to specify the name of the database ahead of the table. However, if you've got multiple databases and that SQL interface is basically applies to all of them, then you would have to apply table name ahead of the, sorry, database name ahead of the table name. Okay, now let's take it a step further. Now I wanna see only specific drivers. Let's say drivers who have more than 20 victories. So, I say where, where is now a filter. It filters the drivers. Up till now, we've been seeing all drivers that we have, but I wish to filter those drivers. So I wish to see all people or all drivers with, let's say less than 10 victories. Okay, sorry, where victories are less than 10, okay? And if I execute that code, I will get these guys here, okay? And you see, I can even take off the field victories from here. I will still get those drivers. So here's one important thing to remember that I can filter after a specific field and I do not have to show it or to select it in order to, to, to be able to filter by it. I selected two fields here and I'm filtering by a third field. That third field does not have to be shown in the table, yet I can still filter after that uh, or, or by that field, all right? Great. Now, another thing what I can do is basically, I can, let, let me change that filter to greater than 10. And now I'd have a complete set of drivers. I can add multiple filters. And when you add multiple filters, there are two ways to add them. One is by combining them with and, or the other thing is to combine them with or. So what's the difference? Well, if you use and, let's say and championships, championships <clears throat> greater than two. So here, every record that gets shown down here has to fulfill both conditions. That's how AND works. Yeah, every driver has to have more than 10 victories and more than two championships. So AND is basically the more ANDs you have, the smaller your data or your found set becomes. Okay, let's see. And you see we've 
greatly reduce our data, okay, with one and. And the more ands I can insert, the, the, the less data I will get. The other way to combine multiple filters is with the or. Now, the, uh, in, in contrast, the and, with and, every record has to fulfill all conditions. With or, every record has to fulfill just one condition. Okay, so in this case, I will get people who have more than 10 victories plus all people who have more than uh, two championships. Okay, and here you go. I've got way more results. Let me show victories again, that field victory, so we can see the data or uh, analyze the data much better. And you see here, for instance, Alberto Ascari is only in here because, sorry, uh, let me see. Let me just see uh, somebody. Actually, they all fulfill more than 10. Let me put another condition. Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, let me see, let me see. Here, for instance, Alan Jones. Alan Jones fulfills more than 10 victories, but he has only one championship. Yeah, let me just show the championships as well. So you see, for instance, Alan Jones is in here because he just fulfills this one. He doesn't fulfill more than two. Same thing with Mario Andretti. He just fulfills the victory side, the more than 10, but he doesn't fulfill the championship thing, okay? And that's why with and, both of these guys would fly out because they only fulfill one condition. The rest of the guys would fulfill both conditions. Right, okay, now, Another thing what you can do with your data set is you can sort it. So basically, I can sort. Now I have to decide by, uh, sorry, not it doesn't call sort, it's called order. Order by, now, by which field do you wish to sort? Well, I wish to sort by victories, victories. And if I do not write anything after that, all data will be sorted by victories in ascending order. That means the guy with the smallest victory is on top and the guy with the biggest victory is a victor, number of victories is at the bottom. Let's try it out. And there you go. Okay. The lowest victories are on top and then the uh, 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 other victories are at the bottom. If I wish to sort the victories in descending order, I would have to add DESC for descending and then uh, that changes all the way around. Okay. So here are some easy and quick uh, uh, ways to sort and to filter your data in SQL. And in the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to generate uh, 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 queries quickly in Excel, especially if you have huge data sets. For instance, how do you insert 20 or 30 records in, a, in, a, in, a, in an SQL uh, database without having to manually write the insert statement every time or how do you query uh, for uh, 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 hundreds of articles all of them combined with or see and I'm gonna show you that in Excel and then after that we're gonna proceed as usual with our uh, uh, SQL uh, codes